Hey guys, I'm Chewy Chewyside, and uh, got a video for you guys, and it's a track guide for Dover Speedway, or whatever it's called. This is the second time we've been here. Setup's actually much better than it was last time. Some of it feels the same in the center of 3 and 4, or exit of 3 and 4, but it's not too bad. It's actually somewhat neutral, and I don't mind it, believe it or not. So, uh, yeah, best I could do is a 22.8. So I just used a uh, 12 to 1 steering ratio. The offset was at plus 6, but I moved it to 0, so it goes straight. And the uh, brake bias was a 64. Which I might move down to 63 because it was a little tight going into certain parts of the corner. But let's see how I did this lap. So, uh, watch. So that's pretty much it for a 22.823, which is, I'm just basing my ties off of what I saw in a league qualifying session. You know, we got a pro driver in there, so I kind of go off what he can run. And then whoever can run a quicker lap time is usually what they run all week. Sometimes you'll get maybe a tenth or two quicker, but I know I won't, so whatever. So let's see how I did this lap. Let me back that up. So making our way into one. Let me slow mo that. I'm uh, letting off the gas as I'm starting to turn in. Right at this Hershey's. Uh, what the hell am I talking about? The autism speed. I was looking at a Hershey's wrapper on this freaking desk. Let me let me just read that. So this autism speaks logo. I'm letting off the gas right as I'm approaching it. See right here, letting off and applying some brake. So we're turning down. Watch out for the bump right here. This will upset the car going in. The car's kind of loose going down into the corner on the first lap, so beware of that. But what I'm doing, I'm just barely touching the brake to set the nose down. You can see it right there. As I'm passing over here, letting off the gas, touching the brake, using only about 20%. And just let it pretty much roll that brake until you get to the bump. Which is right now I'm passing over and I'm rolling down and I'm trying to hug the line down there, but it's kind of hard to do. So drifting up is not too bad of a night, you know, thing, but someone could stick their nose in there and will kill you. So once you feel it set, use the throttle at this point. Don't turn any more than you have to. You can turn the car right here and come back down or whatever, but you're better off just keeping your steering input and use the gas to drive yourself through the entire corner is pretty much what you can see is what I'm doing here. So let's just four times slow-mo that. You can see I'm hugging the line there from center off. And then you want as straight of an exit as you can get. And you can see when I'm turning out and coming up to where the banking ends. You go from banking to less banking. And that's where you want to be straight right here. So it's like the reverse of going into one. So let's make your way into three. Similar approach except this time. I'm turning in as uh, the car is entering the shadow. And if everything goes right in the temperatures, just like this. Remember, these are mostly all for fixed setups. So the weather will be like this and time of day should also be like this. So the shadow should all be in the same spot. So as I'm entering the shadow, I'm letting off and turning down. Same exact way I did in one. Using the little bit of break 20% until I roll over the bump which is about on this shadow that I'm rolling over here so from here you want to let it roll get to the bottom if you can if not drift up a little bit try to do a tiny bit of diamonding meaning you go up and then come back down and exit as straight as you can and I'll explain this right about here the car you can see I'm letting off the throttles because the front end digs it seems like it's digging in to the ground and it just uh, stops turning so you got to be already prepared for that you know you got to be ready for it so after that you just do exactly what you did in one or two power off the street as you can the only difference is the car is a lot more unstable out of four than it is out of two and make your way to the line so that's really all there is to this track i can't explain anymore 
is what I got. Fun track. I actually like this. I was going to take a week off, but now that I got to drive this set, it's I'm probably going to race this. Pretty fun track. I think at least. I don't know. So, like I said, I don't know what else I can say to improve uh, this track. One thing I will mention is don't be afraid to search around in the race for a couple new lines. Meaning, I don't know. I found out in the league race, you can move up a groove or two, actually run a third line. After, say, about 15, 20 laps, when the tires really start going away, that's where you can start ex experimenting, I should say, and trying new lines. So, I don't know. My voice feels like it's going away, but anyways, I'll be back next week. I don't know what track we're at, so uh, watch out for that. Anyways, Sim Racing Chewy Side. Yeah. <laughs>